Hi, my name is Patrick McCarthy. I'm a math tutor from London, and today I'm going to teach you some basic mathematical concepts. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to graph a parabola. So first of all, what does a parabola look like? It either looks like this, or it looks like this. We're going to take this form here. And the equation of this parabola is y equals 2x squared minus 8. So the first things first, we need to find out where it crosses the x-axis and where it crosses the y-axis here. So we're, first of all, we're going to find out where it crosses the x-axis here and here. So to do this, along this line, y equals 0. So we set y equal to 0. So 2x squared minus 8 equals 0. So therefore, 2x squared equals 8, and x squared equals 4. Now from that, we can deduce that x is equal to plus or minus 2. That means then that this point here is the point 2, and this point here is the point minus 2. So, after we've figured out where it crosses the x-axis, we now need to figure out where it crosses the y-axis. So this would be this point here. So to do this, we set y equal to 0 here, so this time we set x equal to 0. So when x equals to 0 here, y is equal to minus 8. When x equals 0. So this point here is minus 8. Okay. We now have what looks like a parabola, and there's one more step that you can do to figure out exactly where this point here, which is called the minimum lies, or this point here, which is called the maximum lies. So finally, after we've found out exactly where the points cross the x-axis and the y-axis, we need to find out exactly where the minimum point is. That point there lies across there. What do we know about this point here? We know that the gradient at this point is zero. So to find the gradient of this point here, we need to differentiate. To do that, we do this. Differentiating, we take the power down, multiply it by the coefficient, and lower the power by one. So, 4x. When we know the differential is 4x, we can then work out exactly where this is equal to zero. This will give us where the minimum point lies. So we set this equal to 0, 4x equals 0, and we figure out that x is also equal to 0. Now we know the x coordinate of where the minimum lies, so what do we do to find the y coordinate? We put this x right back into the original equation to find that y is equal to minus 8. So the minimum point is 0 minus 8. And that's how you graph a parabola.